So it's 2024 and we're all patiently waiting for Assassin's Creed Shadows and meanwhile you need something to scratch that Assassin's Creed itch. And you heard about Assassin's Creed Unity but never played it. There's a lot of stuff going around about this game on the internet so it's very hard to decide if it's a good or a bad one. That's why I'm here today, 10 years after the release, does the game hold up in 2024? Is it worth your time and your money and should you play it before playing Assassin's Creed Shadows or any other game in the series for that matter? So without spoiling too much, what's this game about. You're playing as Arno Dorian assassin during the French Revolution who is fighting for his love Elise in a Romeo and Juliet kind of situation. How does the story hold up as a whole? Kind of okay, not too good. I wouldn't put it on the same level as Ezio or Bayek but it is better than Syndicate for example. I personally didn't connect too much to it. I know that some people love Arno, they consider him on the same level as Ezio but for me personally again I think that he was a boring character and I didn't enjoy his character as much as I would have liked to. And a big part of my distaste for the story is the whole deal with the cutscenes. Some of them look really good, like honestly better than cutscenes that we get nowadays, but other cutscenes look really really bad and didn't age well. The character animations and the facial emotions and the lightning and just the way the whole cutscene connects to the story and the gameplay sometimes just feels off. It doesn't, it pulls me out of the game. I don't know how to explain it exactly, but some cutscenes are legit 10 out of 10 cutscenes and others are like 0 out of 10. So it really was an up and down battle for me throughout the story, which really brought me out of it and it really pulled it down for me from being that quintessential assassin story. Except for one part of the game which is the DLC. The Dead, Ki Dead King's DLC honestly had some great cutscenes and the they were all cohesive and interesting and well shot and choreographed and I really did enjoy them and I felt like they were a step up from the main game. So that kind of saved the game for me when it comes to the cutscenes and the story. The Dead King's DLC gives a nice finale and I thought it's a great finale and it really was amazing to go through. Which could also be said for Paris itself. Honestly, I was really underwhelmed when I first started playing this game and you can see that reflected in my videos talking about Assassin's Creed Unity, but after getting used to Paris, I honestly think it's one of the best game worlds that we ever got. It's just so fun to go through, so fun to parkour, and there are so many indoor locations. I remember this being a big complaint for games like Fallout 4 when it came out, that there was no in-game locations that you just walk into a house and walk out the other way. And I feel like a lot of people were complaining about about that and Assassin's Creed Unity was right here in front of our eyes with so many locations that don't require loading screens. Basically when you load into the main story, the main area of Paris, you won't see any loading screen unless you start a mission. You can go in and out of houses, fight battles, start stories, collect collectibles, do whatever you want and you won't see a single loading screen with the amount of people in the streets and the locations, it's honestly impressive even today. And the fact that you can play all of this in co-op is honestly mind-blowing to me. Sadly, I didn't have anyone to play this game with, but I imagine if you have friends who love Assassin's Creed and have this game, it's gonna be a whole other level to play it with other people. It just adds even more to the game and it's still mind-blowing that they had this technology and they don't use it in newer games. I understand story-wise why they don't, but I think if they already developed this technology, they could have used it in like a specific co-op multiplayer open world game mode that they could add in newer games but that's beside the point point is that paris is honestly stunning and i enjoyed every second in it as i got used to it for that it was kind of janky which gets me into the problems of the game because one of the main problems with this game is just the jank I mean honestly it's expected, it was famous for releasing buggy as hell and it wasn't fixed too much until today. It is a lot better than it was at release but it does have a lot of bugs. And sadly that is my big big complaint with this game, it just doesn't feel good. You can say whatever you want about the newer Assassin's Creed games but it feels good to play them. You can criticize the story, you can criticize the gameplay and how hard it is but the character does stuff when you press buttons and it feels good. You cannot deny that with the new Assassin's Creed games and that's something that this game does not have. There were many times where I pressed buttons and I expected something to happen and something else happened, both in combat and parkour by the way, this is not just a parkour issue. The combat is really, really not as we are used to in the Assassin's Creed series. This is more of a turn-based combat system. 
you block and then you wait two seconds and then you attack and then you wait two seconds and then you block it's it's very slow it's not like the new assassin's creed games or even the old ones Ezio was 10 times faster than Arno and I feel like this was the big shift that was in Assassin's Creed. This is when they were trying to move from the combat system that we had in Black Flag, which was way too easy but very flashy, to something more like Origins, which was less flashy but more fun and satisfying to play. I feel like this game was the in-between level, and they really were going through some rough periods with the combat because this honestly does not feel good. And as someone who's here to play the game, I would like my combat to feel good because that's why I'm here, that's why I'm enjoying this game. So the fact that the combat is very janky and just doesn't feel or look good is a big, big problem to me. Which also extends to the second problem that I have, which is stealth. Stealth doesn't feel as good as well in this game, it just feels like it's not consistent. It's a lot better than combat, you can actually tell what's happening and control your character better, but there are a lot of little things that annoy me. For example, the crouch just feels weird. You're just like hopping, you're not walking while you're crouched, you're hopping forward. It looks weird and it feels weird and it makes me feel like I'm not controlling the character as I want to. Many times I was just crouch walking to an area and I stepped over something and I moved in a way that I didn't mean to, which got me detected and the whole mission got screwed up. So it is a problem with the stealth. And also it feels like the characters, the NPC guards, just can detect you from like miles away. I don't know why, but it feels like I am detected in every single mission that I play. Now you can say that that's a skill issue and that's valid, I accept that, but I played every Assassin's Creed game that came out in my life and I am not new to the series, so I feel like maybe it's not as much my fault and maybe it's that the NPCs can detect you crazy fast in this game and it really just doesn't feel fair, it makes me just annoyed. So that is one of the problems, but I imagine if you spend like a thousand hours in this game and you really nail every movement technique that it has, it will be very satisfying to stealth. Which brings me to the redeeming point about this game, and it's the just the acceptance of what it is. Just play the jank, as I saw the Spaniard say in one of his videos, by the way check him out, I really love that video. If you play the game as it is, and you just accept it for what it is, I think you will enjoy it so much more. It's patience creed, you need to be patient. This game just requires your patience, and if you give it that, it will reward you with one of the most fulfilling Assassin's Creed experiences ever. If you try to rush through it or enjoy it as you enjoyed Origins or the newer games, you will just be annoyed by the broken stealth, by the annoying combat, by the sometimes janky parkour. But if you take your time, just chill and enjoy the vibes of the game, walk the streets, take your time stealthing, don't rush the game, it will feel so much better and it will reward you. And honestly, that's what it all boils down here. This is my last point of this video. If you want to play this game, you gotta be the type of person who is ruling and ready to take it easy and just enjoy the world, who is not gonna rush through this game and you have the free time to experience and immerse yourself in this one, because if you don't, it's honestly just gonna annoy you and you're not gonna like it. If you take your time and try to enjoy it and work with the jank that is this game, it is gonna reward you with a very fulfilling experience that has a lot of good story, that has a lot of good endgame, which is a whole other topic, but this game has a shitload of endgame content, and a lot of other collectible stuff, fun customization, and a really interesting open world. So that's my point with this video. If you buy this game, be patient, give it the time, it will reward you, and you will enjoy it. If you're not, just don't because it's honestly not worth getting angry over. But that's all I had to say about Assassin's Creed Unity. There's of course the whole DLC which I can make a whole separate video about, but I am gonna move on to Assassin's Creed 3 now because that is what I am in the middle of and that's the last Assassin's Creed game that I didn't play. Be sure to let me know what you think of Unity or 3 or any other Assassin's Creed game that you want to hear about, we're still waiting for Shadows, so we have plenty of time until the release. But for now, thank you for watching, I really do appreciate it, do the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, share, check out the channel, YouTube videos are all about Assassin's Creed, that's kinda my thing, and as always, have a nice day.